Hello, my name's Andreas and I'm all about designing and building a boat. In this episode, I want to do some planking, so I'll jump right in. That's better. Usually, planking is not the most difficult part of a build, especially if you have enough frames to which you can attach a plank. For example, I have this 8 foot dinghy model here and if I want to plank this, I can attach a wood strip very easily to all these frames and get the shape of the boat out really nice. However, my model doesn't have that many frames. As I have explained in episode 2, I drew only the necessary parts of the build and that was the transom, the main station and the stem. There is however another shape defining part of the boat and that is the wood itself. Because wood is always bending in a parabolic shape. And as you can see here, I bent the strip symmetrically. So basically the highest point of the curve is horizontal. Now with the boat, things are a little different. Oh. As you can see here, this time the plank is not bent in a symmetrical way. And that creates an interesting issue, which I want to show you in detail. I built this little contraption for it. Now imagine for a moment that this dowel here would be a point at the stem of the boat. And the nail down here would be a point at the main station. The transom will be represented by my finger and of course the wood strip that is running along here would be the plank. Now watch carefully how the plank is running from the stem through the main station and then even further away from the center line which would be here. That's not a good thing. Why? Because the main station should be the part of the boat where it has its biggest width. In other words, where this plank runs down lowest to the furthest point from the center line. But in this case, the point where it is uh, further away from the center line is towards the aft section. Now some could argue that this is not a bad thing. If you plan this carefully, you could make this to your advantage. But I have my doubts when I, whether I can get away with it or not. So I rather look for a way to resolve this issue. Now there are two ways to do this. The first is I take another point here in the front portion of the plank to push it further down. As a result, the point where the distance from the center line is the widest is coming towards the main station. On the model, that would mean that I have to attach another fixture here, like this piece of wood, let's see, like so. And then I could support it here on the frame and then I could attach horizontal wood strips which push the plank further out. However, this looks like a rather laborious endeavor and I'm looking for a simpler solution. For this solution, I put another two nails here in my little contraption and I press the plank 
very firmly against these two nails. As a result, now the furthest point is at the main station. So this time the curve runs horizontally from the main station and comes into the stem quite nicely as I have designed it. So the question is whether I can make this happen on the model. Now, lucky for me, when I cut out the main station frame, I left it square. I didn't uh, shape it in any way. So that means I can glue a plank strip against the main station. I have to attach it though very firmly. Hot glue will not do the trick here. And I have to wait until it's cured. And then I can bend it towards the stem. And hopefully it will work out as I have just shown you uh, on my demonstration object. Now, um, as you can see, hot glue is not really a very well, uh, very good bond. Uh, this was glued once. So yeah, I need to change this and use a proper wood glue to do this. And I think I will go with this method, although it is uh, time consuming because I have to wait until the uh, wood strip is really cured before I start bending it. Okay, let's do some gluing. Do you recognize the frame that I made in the last episode? When I cut out the notches, I actually le was left with these small wood chips here. And thankfully, I didn't throw them away because now what I want to do with them, I want to drill a hole through and then I can use these tiny little nails. And with these nails, I will not only glue, but also nail the plank to the main station frame. And uh, with the aid of these little chips, I will hopefully distribute the pressure of the nail um, to a wider surface area so that my plank won't split. Okay, that looks very promising. I can already see that the plank is now uh, with its furthest distance at the main station. So that part worked and now I wait for the uh, glue to set and then there will be some more planking.